Hey guys, Indra this side from 24 by 7 everything. Hope you all are doing great. We are again back with another video and this time it's on ASUS and for Max Pro M1. So in this particular video, we'll be going to see that how to resolve or fix the underlying Google Play Store related issues, which will be applicable for ASUS and for Max Pro M1 and M2 both. So let's begin with that. Before that, let me show you that I'm already like as I've mentioned you that this particular method is for Android 10. Although this will be applicable for Android 9, Android 8, Android 11 and so on. But I'm just creating this video on with respect to Android 10 because sometimes some users tends to have a, a like brother I just want in Android 10 because they are reluctant or hesitate to do the same process if I have already mentioned in Android Pi. So this will surely help them. So for that, let me move to about phone section and afterward to the this one and let me show you that I'm on Android 10. Now let's assume that your Play Store is not working or either if it is working, then it has been stuck in somewhere else. If you have already started downloading app, it might stuck at 30 to 35%, sometimes 60 to 65% and you have been so much frustrated and you are trying to, uh, or you are uh, try, um, like planning to do the factory data reset. But if you will follow this particular method, then it will always, uh, or I would say, I assure you that at least 90 to 95% underlying issues will be resolved. So exceptions are always there. So let's say I'm just going to open Play Store and it is not opening. So I'm just assuming at my side it just opened. So let's assume it is work, it is not working at your side. For that, you just have to long press on uh, Google Play Store icon, be it on home screen or app dot wherever it has been put. Afterward, you will see this particular file icon or information icon. Just tap it here and it will open its dedicated application info for the Google Play Store. And afterward, you will see st storage and cache. Just tap on storage and cache. So the very first thing that we will be follow uh, would be to clear the cache. So basically, this uh, if you will clear the cache, then any cache that has been created till now or have been built till now since the time you have installed this particular Google Play Store or the last time you have cleared the cache would be cleared as of now. And afterward, just open the uh, Google Play Store and see that whether the underlying issue has been resolved now or not. So in most of the cases with 90% to 95% with this particular clear cache, uh, the underlying issues for the Google Play Store are resolved. But there is a catch with this particular thing. Like after clearing the cache, sometimes the uh, app is listed uh, on the Google Play Store might not be available for up to 72 hours, which is a, I would say, at most time frame provided by Google Play Store. But at, your, at my side, you can see that it is already visible. So this is just a, I would say, precautionary note so don't worry about this and it will not be uh, going to uninstall any app which is already installed on your phone so this is just clearing the cache but let's assume that even after following the clear cache method your underlying issue has not been resolved so this time what you have to do firstly clear uh, i would say close all the apps that have been uh, like open in the recent list again long press or long tap on google play store and tap on icon again that particular same section i would say same section has been opened this time just tap on storage and cache again rather than clearing cache this time you have to tap on clear storage which will in turn be clearing the cache as well but it will prompt you that all of these apps data will be deleted permanently this includes all file settings accounts database etc and so on not to worry about anything nothing will be going to vanish it everything will be restored uh, within a span of 72 hours so just tap on ok now after doing this uh, open the play store and most in the most of the scenarios 95 to 100 percent this will resolve all your underlying issues so afterward you can open it now let me show you one more time regarding the same thing that sometimes the app listing is not available like at my side at uh, like at this moment it is not but uh, like within three to four seconds it has updated again so afterward again if you are facing any issue with the google play store then i think factory data reset is the one thing which you have to follow but with this approach, approach, whether on Asus and for Max Pro M1 or M2, all the underlying issues will be resolved. So this was all from my side related to how to resolve the underlying issues related to Google Play Store on Asus and for Max Pro M1 or Asus and for Max Pro M2. Hope you like this video. If you really like this video, kindly share this video with friends and family. And apart from this, please subscribe to our channel because this will surely motivate us and boost us to create more videos like this in the coming future. Finally, it's the time to sign off now. Bye for now. Thanks.